talk to us about the use cases of Mimblewimble. What does this do? Sure, thanks for having me, Emily. So in 2011, when I first found out about, about Bitcoin, I saw it as like a perfect form of money, actually better than um, gold, better than uh, US dollar. But the only thing missing from it being like uh, real sound money is fungibility. And what, what that is, is basically every single bill is the same as every other bill. So every dollar is the same as every other dollar. Every Bitcoin is the same as every other Bitcoin. So for example, if you go into the store and you make a purchase, it doesn't matter which $20 bill you pull out of your wallet, it's exactly the same and it will be treated exactly the same. And right now that's not the case with Bitcoin and Litecoin um, because of uh, the transparency of the blockchain. So when you make a Bitcoin and Litecoin transaction, everyone will see how many Litecoins or Bitcoins that you sent over the network. And because of that, it makes each transaction not fungible. When you, for example, when you um, got paid in Litecoin, for example, and then you use that payment to pay for your coffee, the recipient will actually see how much money you have in your wallet. And that's not good for money, right? When you want to spend money, you want to be able to spend money without worrying about um, losing financial privacy. So this is what we uh, were trying to fix with Litecoin. We were trying to make Litecoin more fungible. And what that means is making um, transactions not transparent where uh, the amount that is being sent is actually hidden from everyone else except for you and the recipient. Right. And this is this technology is, is Mimble Wimble, but we're calling it MWeb, which stands for Mimble Wimble Extension Block. So we're adding it as an extension to Litecoin. Now, privacy upgrades like this do come with other challenges. What do you have to say to regulators who are worried about money laundering? Yeah, so um, for, for for one thing, I think financial privacy is a is a human right. So we should all have be able to spend money without exposing how much money we have. Um, that said, it's important that um, for one that regulators can oversee what's going on on the Lightning Network. So we're doing this as a optional uh, opt in to using MWeb. So exchanges, for example, would not have have to. Um, work with the M web side of things. They can just work with the transparent Litecoin blockchain itself. You but know, people using Litecoin can move coins between the mainnet and to the M web extension. Well, there's a huge juxtap juxtaposition here as well. I mean, how do you have a cryptocurrency that is both more transparent and open while also having so many anonymity features? Doesn't that create a bit of a culture class in the ecosystem? Uh, to be fair, MWeb is not is not perfect in anonymity, right? So what the most important thing is it's hiding the amount being sent. So when, but when you're depositing, for example, your Litecoins into exchange, the exchange obviously knows and can see because if they require you to deposit on the mainnet, they can see the how much how much Litecoins obviously you're depositing. Um, but kind of making hiding the amount, I think, is important for financial privacy. It doesn't doesn't make it easier for people for criminals or um, nefarious people to launder money through Litecoin. Charlie, I'm wondering also, what does your personal holdings of cryptocurrency look like now? We know you sold your Litecoin holdings a while ago. Litecoin is actually up on the news today. So have you bought the dip in other places in any fashion? Or are there other technologies that you've come to believe in more? My, my main holding is Bitcoin, right? So I believe in Bitcoin. I believe in cryptocurrency in general. And I've stated my reason for being divested from Litecoin. So I can focus on working on Litecoin, which I've been doing for the past uh, like 11 years um, and not worry about the ups and downs of the price movement. Dogecoin was based off the Litecoin protocol. And I got to ask what you think of Elon Musk taunting McDonald's and the sort of general uh, taunting around Dogecoin that's been happening over the last several months. I, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, I think. I like, I like Dogecoin. I think Dogecoin brings a lot of new people into this space. Um, cryptocurrency uh, is pretty scary for, for most people, but when you put like a dog meme icon on the, on the logo, it, it makes it um, more fun and more easier for people to get into. And once they actually start buying and using Dogecoin, they realize the power of cryptocurrency and will start um, getting to Bitcoin and even Litecoin. So I think Dogecoin is great. And I think I liked what Elon is doing, um, just getting kind of cryptocurrency into mainstream topic. You know, back to the technology also, Charlie, you have mentioned before, you've mentioned online that it's taken a long time to get here to this upgrade. What are the challenges you faced in getting to this point? 
Well, the main thing is um, Litecoin is a multi-billion dollar currency, right? So we want to take things slow. We want to make sure the upgrade goes smoothly. We don't want to um, take unnecessary risks or cause the network to go down or, or anything that can cause problems with people's money, right? And at the end of the day, Litecoin is being used daily as, as money. People are spending Litecoin to buy stuff. So we don't want um, any upgrades to cause problems. So that's why we're taking it slowly. And also the MWeb technology is, is complicated. Right, we're trying to use cryptography to hide the, uh, the the amount for the transaction, also do it in a way that's scalable. And it's just, it's a hard problem to solve and we're just taking it slow and doing it the right way. Charlie, we heard Jack Dorsey again double down on Bitcoin and Bitcoin only. Obviously, Michael Saylor has done the same. What do you make of that narrative and, and why are they wrong? I wouldn't say they're wrong. I think um, just like how Coinbase um, started with Bitcoin only, it's the right thing to do because Bitcoin is is the king of cryptocurrency. It's like it's I consider the reserve crypto. Um, so it's right to kind of just focus on Bitcoin in, initially. And once you you've solved that problem, um, you can start expanding into other cryptocurrencies like Litecoin.